Hi guys, The Collector here, and welcome back to The Collector's Hive for another video today. I'm very excited about this video today. We are going to be reviewing and ranking the Disney Plus Marvel Legends Wave, the new one. And guys, I'm excited about this one. This When this wave was announced, I was all over it. I didn't pre-order it uh, like I wanted to. I was kind of playing a risky game. I wanted to get out there the first day it came so I could get those figures um, and not kind of wait on the pre-order. So it was a risky game that I played. And actually, uh, the day before the street release, I went to Target to see if they got, a, uh, they got released early. I saw three. I saw Bucky, I saw Captain America, and I saw uh, John Walker, I believe. On the pegs, I tried to get them a day early. They would not let me. They were street dated. I had to put them back. Uh, I cried on the way out. No, I'm just kidding. But I was seriously upset, but I went the next morning and talked with the Target employee. Uh, they weren't on the pegs, and I knew they were there because I was there the day before. She was like, well, let me check in the back for you. Uh, and she came back with five out of the seven. She did not come back with Scarlet Witch, and she didn't come back with Zemo. But luckily, uh, I went back later um, to a different Target and picked those two up talked with another Target employee. So I got that wave the day it came out and I was super excited because I don't know about you guys, but I'm not seeing a lot of this wave out and about and in, in my area, maybe it's different for you guys. So go ahead and comment down below if you're having trouble finding those uh, out right now. But anyway, we're going to first review the figures. They have been opened already. They've been on my shelf for about, I would say a week, week and a half. So we're going to review them. So we're not going to go super in-depth with articulation and things like that. We're just going to look at the details and kind of talk about what they came with and um, what I like about the figure, what I don't like about the figure, um, and really zoom in and get good looks on those head sculpts because that's the best part about this Marvel Legends wave are those head sculpts and the detail that they put in. So we're going to get um, good looks on that. And then after, we're going we're going to rank my top five of the wave, so my uh, favorite five figures of this wave, and then we'll talk about the honorable mentions of the wave as well. So we're going to review these figures and then rank my personal favorites on this Disney Plus Marvel Legends wave. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, let's get this review started with the first figure of this wave, the Marvel Legends Loki from the Loki series coming out on Disney Plus. And I, for one, have just uh, I watched the first episode when it dropped that Wednesday and it was awesome. So I can't wait um, to continue watching that show. Um, and I was thinking about doing some reviews for the show as well, or the Disney Plus shows or movies coming out too to put on the channel as well. So let me know down, down in the comments what you think about that. But um, again, these figures have been open. They have been sitting on the shelf for a little over a week now. So um, they have been unboxed and all that good stuff. So. Um, and some of their accessories have been put away. I kind of store a lot of my Marvel Legends and other figures' accessories um, in, like, little bags. So those are stored already. So, um, yeah, let's just get right to it. So this is Loki, um, and he is in his uh, variant outfit from the show. So he's not in his normal um, Loki attire, which I kind of like. I think it's different. And... Um, you can see you have the brown jacket here with the TVA symbol on the front and variant on the back, which I love that um, variant uh, on the back of the jacket and the head sculpts. And I think you're going to hear me say this a lot in this video, but one thing I love about this particular wave um, specifically are the head sculpts and just how much detail uh these head sculpts have and this is the loki one i think this is out of all the marvel legend loki's this is easily the best head sculpt for loki and he has the the shorter hair because remember this loki kind of takes place from the two, uh 2012 avengers movie and loki had shorter hair then so i think that face sculpt looks amazing and um, this Loki figure, one thing I kind of don't like is there's no real accessories, not even any like his two daggers or anything like that. So there's no ac accessories. It just comes with the build a figure piece. So um, yeah, so it just comes with this. So you have the jacket, you have like the slacks and the shoes and 
this is the Loki figure. And I do like the Loki figure. I think very good figure. Um, and for me, it's the head, head sculpt is awesome. And you're going to hear, hear me say that a lot again, but I love the head sculpt of this Loki figure. So next, we're going to look at John Walker. So, and if you are big into the Marvel Legend wave, this Disney Plus wave, you are going to notice right off the bat the inaccuracies of this figure. That's one of the big knocks that I've been kind of hearing around um, the community about this John Walker, the inaccuracies from this figure to the sh his look in the show. And what I mean by that is on the last episode, when you see him in that black new suit, one of the big things is you don't have that A on the helmet. So that A should not be there. Also, he's missing his white stripes. There shouldn't be a star here as well, and there should be white stripes um in there not just red and and black so um definitely um inaccuracies there which is kind of the big knock on this john walker uh, however it doesn't bother me as much as others i don't get too bothered by it i'm sure they're going to come out with you know an accurate suit for him but it, it doesn't bother me um as much as it as it would others one thing about this John Walker, it did not come with any accessories as well, which is kind of a knock and kind of disappointed me a little bit. Um, so I did give him a gun from um, from one of my other figures or loose guns that I had. Um, but again, the best thing is this head sculpt. I mean, that that looks pretty good. And it even has like the little mark in the chin here. Um, I mean, the face structure, if you look at it from the side, it's just a very, very good head sculpt um and, and the de the details in the suit the wrinkles and you know as you go down the leg um and the boots as well kind of on the back very good paint applications there um no complaints for me i do have like a little uh paint air right here on the tip of the helmet but other than that i mean i love this figure um but yeah i mean it's not accurate and that's kind of the knock on this John Walker. Um, but again, I think they did an amazing job with the detail and, and with the head sculpt. I think the biggest thing for for this wave and what they wanted to accomplish was to get these figures to look as much as the actors playing them as possible. And they, they certainly did succeed there. So this is the John Walker figure from the Disney Plus Build a, uh, build a Figure wave. So next we're going to look at Zemo. So Zemo came with his normal head, and I, right now I have him in his mask. I love the mask Zemo look. Um, came with his coat, obviously. Um, it came with this um, the gold gun that he had. I believe I don't remember which episode. I believe he shot it only like once. Um, so he has the gun, um, and he also came with this um, book. It was the book that he used in Civil War um, to kind of program Bucky, which I don't really understand why this came with him because this had nothing to do with the um, Disney Plus show. But I guess because Zemo had it in Civil War, they decided to give it to him there. Um, again, and, and I do not have the face with me. It is in stashed with my other um, loose items, but his head sculpt was very good. Um, but I just love this masked look, and when I got him, I knew right away I was going to put the mask on him anyway. So the head sculpt doesn't really matter with this guy because I just love him with that, you know, the old school Zemo mask look. Um, I love the details in the coat. Um, I love this part on the top. Um, the only thing with Zemo is it's kind of hard to stand him. You have to mess around. He has a, like these little almost like dress shoe boots looking things and they're kind of hard to get them to stand but once you got them in a good pose it's it's fine um so again i do like the zemo figure um and yeah this is the third figure from the disney plus wave all right so we're gonna go look at bucky next bucky barnes aka the winter soldier and 
I heard a lot of people knock the head sculpt. I like the head sculpt. I heard a couple people think that, uh, I don't think it looks accurate, but I mean, if you look at it at certain angles, I mean, that is Sebastian Stan. I mean, that's a pretty good, accurate look for that face sculpt. I thought that face sculpt was awesome. Um, even the hair, um, if you get a good look, there's hints of brown in there and that black and it makes it, the paint on the hair is awesome. But what, what, uh, what I love the most about this figure is the arm. I mean, the detail on this arm is incredible. Uh, the paint apps with, with the gold and the black is just sleek. They put an extra shine on it. It looks awesome. So it comes with um, two fist hands and then this grab hand for this, um, for the arm. And I love the grab look for the arm, so I just left it on there. Um, it comes with the fist as well, but I mean, this arm is incredible. Absolutely. Um, and even in the details in the shirt, they went all out with detail and head sculpts here. Um, no complaints really with the paint apps, but I mean, I mean, you can tell if you zoom in here, like the, the details kind of in that jacket are really awesome. But for me, I mean, you even got the five o'clock shadow on the, on the face, but this arm makes the figure hundred percent. And I think it's one of the best kind of, um, arms for Bucky that I've seen on, on the Marvel Legends. So this is the fourth figure in the wave. Um, the, uh, Winter Soldier from the Disney Plus wave. So now we're going to get into White Vision. And his face sculpt probably is my favorite of the wave. I mean, the detail and the sculpting within the neck, within the head. Um, I mean, it looks just like Paul Bettany. This is an amazing, amazing face sculpt. Um, and if you look at the other vision, I do not have him. I'm looking for him currently, but um, the vision from the Civil War line and even the two pack with uh, Scarlet Witch. I mean, there's no comparison with the face sculpt. They got this face sculpt absolutely right. I would love for them to make kind of that the the older vision, but with this face sculpt, because this face sculpt um, is absolutely awesome. I mean, no complaints there. I love the little blue right here for his gem or uh what have you however you want to uh whatever you want to call it um and also the cape is pegged in it moves but like it it's actually pegged into the back um i've heard some kind of complaints about the cream color here on the wrist and on the belt and on the boots here um i'm I kind of agree i'm not a huge fan of it but it doesn't bother me to wear you know i'm like a stickler on it um but I mean, this face sculpt is absolutely awesome. And as for the show, WandaVision, it was it was amazing. Um, I love the fight at the end with Vision and uh, White Vision, kind of the philosophical um, look on, well, technically this Vision is actually Vision. So uh, I love that part of the show. And this figure is just absolutely incredible with the detail. And even the detail coming into the suit the texture on it is different than like the face. Um, so I love that. It comes with two fist hands and then it comes with uh, one of these types of hands. So um, I, I really, really love this vision figure. Um, and the face sculpt for me is just immaculate. So there is vision. Next we got Scarlet Witch, AKA Wanda Maximoff. And again, another great face sculpt. And from certain angles, that looks exactly like Elizabeth Olsen. And I love her hair as well. The detail um, within the hair, the color, the browns in there, even kind of a hint of red in there as well. Um, but just they did a very good job with the hair. The hair does kind of um, mess up the, the head movement a little bit. But I mean, no complaints here. She is in her... Um, WandaVision outfit, her new suit that she got. Um, it also comes with, you know, the typical Marvel Legend um, little magic accessory. And it also comes with two, like, luminescent pink hands as well, kind of going with the the um, the magic 
little um, shiny things. So those are cool as well. I call them shiny things. I don't really know another name for them, but yeah, you get the picture. Anyway, um, de great detail in her legs, like the texture changes from there and, and, and her kind of back of her outfit here. Um, just great paint all around, especially in that hair. And again, the head sculpt is awesome. So really excited about this figure. I'm really excited about this whole wave. Um, I'm really glad I got them all because I going into targets and walmart and things like that that they're i can't find them anywhere in my area you can drop down in the comments if you're having any success finding them but i cannot find them anywhere like i don't see them at all on the shelves so um just let me know in the, down in the comments if you guys are having any success finding these and for our last one we got the new captain america and he's awesome He's absolutely awesome. I have him on the the little stand. So I'll take him apart right now. So it comes with the stand. And I've heard complaints about the stand and I do agree. It's not high enough. So when you put him on the stand, it's not like he's flying. It's like he's standing on the stand. And I wish this was a little bit higher so it could look like he's actually flying, but small complaint. He comes also with the shield, which I have up oh, red wing fell. You can put him in either arm. Most put him um, in this right arm. I have him in the left arm. And the build-a-figure for this wave are the wings. I love the wings. You can get him in his uh, falcon kind of pose here. Um, so you can move him pretty well. I mean, again, if you move him too back, this part's going to come off here. Pretty easy to, to assemble once you got them all. Um, but I love, I love these Build-A-Figure wings. Um, it bothered a lot of people that, you know, this was the actual Build-A-Figure of the wave, but it doesn't bother me too much. Um, I'm not too much of a stickler, stickler for it. And again, the head sculpt is awesome. That is Anthony Mackie to me. Um, they did a pretty good job, um, with that. Um, and even if you zoom in, you can see the glasses, you can see his eyes, which is an which is awesome because that's kind of how it is in the show as well. So you can see his eyes um, within those glasses. And the paint is awesome on this. You know, there's a little... And I, actually, I don't see too many blunders there with the paint. But they got the suit right. I love the suit. And this pack, you can just take off like this. And then that's, you have the figure right here. Also comes with Red Wing. And the thing with Red Wing, guys, so if you get this and you're trying to put Red Wing on, it's going to be a pain to get him on this, this part right here. There's like a little latch that you're supposed to get him on, but he doesn't never stays. Like, he, like any type of pressure to him, he falls. So comes with the wings. Or the build a figure is the wings comes with red wing so yeah guys so this is the review portion of this video uh, and now we're going to go back to me and we're going to rank my favorite figures of this wave i didn't want to give too much as we're uh we were reviewing them um, so what, what's going to happen is I'm going to give my honorable mentions the two figures that I liked but did not make the top five and then we will go over my top five. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys. So this is the ranking portion of this video. So let's first start with my honorable mentions. My first honorable mention is the Loki figure. And I do love the Loki figure, um, but the fact that it didn't really come with any accessories um kind of was a drawback for me so he is my one of my two honorable mentions from the this, uh the wave i do love the variant on the back but he is an honor honorable mention my second honorable mention john walker and the biggest reason why he probably would have been higher but he didn't come with any accessories, which is a bummer. And the suit has a lot of inaccuracies from the show. 
the A here on the suit, the A on the helmet, and there's no white lines. Um, and even on the box, on the back of the box, the, the picture on the top, it had John Walker with no A on the helmet, and he had white stripes. So I don't know, maybe they try to push him out a little fast um, to get out uh, before the, uh, so the wave could drop. So he could drop with the wave. I don't know what I'm saying right now, sorry. But I don't know what it was, but there's a lot of inaccuracies here. So he would have been higher if he had accessories and if the suit was a little bit more accurate to the show. So John Walker is my other honorable mention. So let's get right into to the list. So um, my number five figure of this wave is the Zemo figure. And again, I love the face sculpt that it came with. I love the mask. The gold gun is a cool little accessory. And it also came with that red book. Not sure why, but Zemo is my fifth favorite. And the reason why he's number five and not higher is just because I like the other four a little bit better. Um, not to say that this Zemo figure is not a bad one, but I just enjoy the other four a little bit more. And the fact that Zemo is a little bit harder to stand than others, you gotta get him in the right position. He has these weird kind of shoes. So yeah, Zemo is my number five figure of this wave. Number four is Bucky, the Winter Soldier. And the reason he beat out Zemo is because of this arm. This arm is awesome. The details on the arm is awesome. You got the gold and the black. We kind of talked about that in the review portion. And his head sculpt is awesome as well. Um, good details all around with this figure. Easy to stand, easy to pose. He's my number four figure of this wave. Number three, and this is where it gets kind of hard because I love these three figures so much. Um, and I feel like these three have the best detail out of all of them. So my number three figure is the White Vision. And I went back and forth with number three and number two, but I think I like number two just a little bit better. And we'll talk about number two in a second. But this Vision head sculpt, like we talked about in the review, is amazing. The, the, it's absolutely amazing. Um, the details sculpted into his suit. Um, I even like the clear translucent um, cape as well. I also kind of like, and I may be in the minority here, I like that the cape is pegged in because I get annoyed when the capes are off and they, they, they kind of sit out and what have you. And I, I kind of like how it's pegged in like that. I wish this was a little bit more even. Like you can see it's leaning towards this breastplate right here. I wish it would be a little bit more in the middle, but, uh, but that's just a nitpick. But yes, this Vision figure, I love it. And the head sculpt is probably the best head sculpt of the wave, in my opinion. So Vision is my number three. Rounding out the top two guys, my number two figure, Scarlet Witch. Head sculpt is on point. Amazing head sculpt, and the hair has such great detail. This is uh, my only Scarlet Witch that I have right now, and I, I love this figure. I love her um, TV show, that the uh, WandaVision suit that they kind of created for the MCU. It has a hint of comic book feel with the little um, crown here, but it also has that MCU touch to the suit. So I, I, I like it a lot. It has kind of a mixture between comic and uh, movie and... I love the details of the hands as well. Like if you go into it, they're not straight like this. They kind of curve her fingers like she does um, when she kind of uses her magic, her chaos magic. So um, definitely love this figure. And she is my number two. But my number one from this uh, build a figure wave, this Marvel Legends Disney Plus is, it is Falcon. Um, the, Fal the Falcon wings got me. Um, so, I mean, so many different poses you can do with the wings. Um, just when he when with the wings, it's a whole different figure. It captures so much essence of the character. Um, and, and I think they did a really good job with these wings. I, I really love them a lot. Um, I like the shield. Wish they would have used a little bit brighter red, but can't win them all. And the head sculpt is awesome as well. You can see his eyes in there. I just love this captain america falcon figure one of my favorite captain americas that i have in the collection um so falcon or i should say captain america rounds out my number one favorite figure in this disney plus marvel legends wave um and that kind of wraps up the video guys so 
thank you so much for um, kind of being here with me today and kind of watching along and um, comment down below who you think or who is your favorite uh, from this Disney plus Marvel Legends wave. Um, and I just want to thank all of you again for taking the time out of your day to watching this video, um, liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you to all of those who are um, becoming part of the Collector Hive. So um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. Um, I'm going to try and put out a toy hunt video, maybe at the, either at the end of this weekend or the beginning of next week. So uh, again, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.